Good morning, my friends. Thursday morning. Cold, a little snowy out there in Sacramento, Kentucky. But a good day for a video. I'm going to kind of kill two birds with one stone. Um, a common saying. I'm going to teach you where Paul was when he was converted. And I'm going to teach you the most simple explanation in the Bible as to how to be saved. Good subjects? Yeah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, teach us the things we need to know. Lead, guide, and direct us, Lord, so we can understand grace and salvation. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In Galatians chapter 1, verse 15, 16, 17, and 18, those four verses, really powerful verses of Scripture, Paul indicates that he was called by God before he was born, that God knew he was going to use him to teach the gospel of grace. And he knew that he was going to have a Damascus Road experience. He was going to go to Damascus for three days. He would be blind during that time. He would pray and fast during that time. Then God was going to have Ananias touch him. The shackles from his eyes would fall, and he would be led by the Holy Spirit to the Arabian Desert where he would be taught for a undetermined period of time, but most people think it's three years. And um, in that Galatian chapter 1 experience, 15, 16, 17, and 18, um, he tells us um, um, about salvation. Now, I love to, I love to use people because that's who we relate to. And I love to use Paul, John, Peter. I love to use James. I love to use all the apostles. Philip is great to use. I love to use the Old Testament people. Abraham, Joseph, Moses, David, Elijah. There's just a lot of people that you can use. Well, Let's stick to the point here. Where was Paul after he was, the shackles were re relieved from his eyes, he was led out into the Arabian desert? What was he doing out there? He was being taught by the Holy Spirit the things that he needed to know, especially the gospel of grace. Now, I said I was going to tell you a couple of things. Cl clear up where Paul was. Um, when he first got saved, he was in Arabia. And where do we know this? Galatians. What verses? Chapter 1, verses 15, 16, 17, and 18. Clarify that. How about this salvation, Brother Al? You said you're going to tell us how to get saved. There's no clearer place in the Bible that talks about how to get saved then Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. It says there, to anybody who wants to know, it says clearly, and I'm going to say this slowly so that it sinks in. We are saved by grace through faith. It's not of ourselves. It is a gift from God. Not of works, least any man should boast. That verse of Scripture, those two verses of Scripture, are some of the clearest, clearest verses in the Bible as to how to be saved. I'll give you some others. John chapter 14 and verse 6, where Jesus is talking to Thomas, the doubter, Thomas says, we don't know where you're going. We don't know the way. And Jesus says clearly, 
I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man goes unto the Father except through me. Jesus makes it clear that if you have him in your heart, you're going to go to the Father in heaven. And if you don't, you're not going there. We know there's only one other place to go, but I don't want to discuss that now. That's another topic, a gruesome topic, too. Now, there's one other verse of Scripture that I say that may be even clearer than these two that I've mentioned, if that's possible. The Philippian jailer in Acts chapter 16, verse 30, 31. The Philippian jailer, after all that takes place there, falls down at the feet of Paul and Silas, and he asks the question, what must I do to be saved? He asks that question. So if you listen to the answer, you also will know like he did. Paul and Silas simply told him, in reference to what must I do to be saved, they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and your household, meaning the household would get their opportunity to hear the gospel and get saved also. And the whole family of the Philippian jailer got saved. My friends, there's nothing more important in the Bible than salvation. And there are a lot of questions in the Bible. Where was Paul? Where where did he go? When you studied the book of Acts, it doesn't tell you there where he went. That's why you got to compare Scripture with Scripture. Read Galatians chapter 1. Read verses 15, 16, 17, and 18. And it'll bolster you up. And those re- the, the other... Uh, scriptures that I refer to, and many, many more in the Bible, they tell the truth about salvation. Are you saved? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this little time together that we can tell the truth about where Paul was after he got saved and what he was doing. It's clear because the scriptures are clear. Lord, we pray for the salvation of everybody that doesn't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We pray for all of them, Lord. We pray that while they have time, while they have breath in their body, they would receive you as Lord and Savior and become part of the family of God, become part of the church. We love you, Lord. Thank you. For salvation, and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Always, if the Lord is willing. Bye bye.